Ezra Levant here in Copenhagen, everybody. Uh, that means market port in Danish. And as you can see, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous city. It's across the bridge from Malmo, Sweden, where we went again today. We interviewed a Swedish artist named Lars Vilks, who is under 24-hour-a-day police protection because of Muslim fatwas, because he drew a disparaging picture of Mohammed. It's like Salman Rushdie, except for the West has not championed him the same way Rushdie was championed. I think that says something about the state of free speech in the West. Here in Denmark, I think there's more of a fighting spirit. You might recall just over 10 years ago, a Danish newspaper called the Posten published 12 cartoons of the Muslim prophet Mohammed, and that led to an enormous reaction by Muslim fundamentalists around the world, riots in as desperate, disparate places as Iran and Syria, and uh, even hundreds of people killed in Nigeria. So Denmark has been a place to fight back against censorship, but it has also been a place of censorship, and we've talked to various people here who've been hit by their own version of Canada's human rights commissions. That's my brief update from Copenhagen. We had so many interviews, I can't even remember them all off the top of my head. When we're back in Canada next week, we will upload full shows, but I just wanted to give you a taste of what we're seeing here in this incredible port market city. For the Rebel.media, I'm Ezra Levant.